Hey guys, Victoria here, and welcome to The Geeky Sandbox. So I have a very serious question for you today. Who doesn't love a man with a beard? Comment down below and let me know. Because this is a math equation I've been trying to solve for my entire life. But in all seriousness, we're here to do a breakdown of the Avengers Infinity War Part 1 poster that they released at Comic-Con. Everyone's been talking about Captain America's beard, Black Widow's hair, but what else have we been missing? Let's take a look. So let's go over our players that we have in Infinity War. We're going to start with our Guardians. We have Groot, Teenage Groot, Rocket Raccoon, Star-Lord, Gamora, Nebula, Mantis. And then we have Loki, Thor, Doctor Strange, Hulk, Hawkeye, Spider-Man, Black Panther, Winter Soldier, War Machine, Tony Stark, Steve Rogers, Captain America and Iron Man, Falcon, Black Widow, Scarlet Witch, Vision. And at the center of it all, Thanos and the Black Order. I love that the poster displays everything we've been dreading and everything we've been trying to prevent and everything we've also been excited for, let's be real, leading up to this point. So we've had Captain America Civil War, the first Captain America movie, we've had Thor, Thor Dark World, we've had Doctor Strange, we've even had Spider-Man Homecoming, all of the Iron Man films, and if you want Much, much, much later. And then we have Black Panther coming, we have Guardians of the Galaxy. So you have all of these movies that have led up to this point, what we've been dreading and the thing we've been most excited for, Infinity War, Thanos getting this gauntlet glove ready with all of the gems and causing a lot of pain and destruction. So on the poster, our feelings are perfectly laid out. You have the Guardians over here, you have Doctor Strange over there and the people we've known and loved for the longest just off to the side trying to prevent something from happening and while they don't know that they're already far too late, you know, not even considering the fact that Tony has already had a vision about what may or may not happen to all of his friends. And then like I mentioned, you have Thanos right in the center of it all. He already has the glove ready. He already has the Black Order. He already has the gems he needs. It's just the people we know and love just don't know that yet. I'm interested to see very much so how Tony reacts to all of this because I kind of imagine him having a very suave and sassy I told you so kind of mentality once he realizes what's going on which in a way he can say I told you so because he's been trying to build up to prepare for this for the longest which I don't condone living in fear which is kind of what he's been doing but at the same time he's kind of been preparing for what they're going to be fighting and what they're going to be up against but little does he know, they are very, very, very underprepared and they have no idea what they're getting themselves into. The only person who may have an inkling as to what they're getting themselves into is Gamora and Thor. Well, Thor had the vision, so he was able to see that somebody is assembling something. And Gamora, she knows her father, so does Nebula. They know how ruthless he is and how far he's willing to go to one, prove a point, but two, also have things go his way. And I really geek out about stuff like this, just a fair warning. So be prepared for the next few minutes about what I'm gonna talk about because I'm probably gonna lose my mind. But another thing I noticed about the poster is that certain people are grouped together, their area of the poster is a certain color, and that lends itself to where Thanos will have to pick up certain gems and what characters are we gonna see possibly work together in the movies. To the top left, we have the Guardians and we have Thor and Loki. And as we know from the teaser and the descriptions from the teaser, that Loki and Thor will meet up with the Guardians. And as we know, Loki has a ton and ton of experience with the Space Gem, which is blue. And that's why their portion of the poster is blue. And right underneath, right at the bottom of Peter Quill and Rocket the Raccoon, yes, there's a purple streak. And the purple streak represents the Power Gem. And spoiler alert for those of you who have not seen Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1, Ronan is trying to obtain the Power Gem. Little does he know, it's only one of many. What child's play, right? He's trying to get the Power Gem, but then he's stopped by the Guardians, 
who then give the gem to Nova Corp in exchange for, first of all, doing the right thing, but also like money and then uh, getting a name for themselves where they can be protectors of the galaxy. There's a yellow streak of color coming in, just showering down on Vision and Scarlet Witch. And we know Vision and Scarlet Witch are not only a couple in the comic books, but they're also building up to that in the films as well. And we know that the uh, Mind Gem is yellow, so it makes sense that his section of the poster is yellow, which I'm still really curious to know if Thanos is, I mean, he obviously has to pull the gem from Vision's head. He needs that gem to be Vision, so I'm really interested to see how that whole thing plays out. And then of course, a green light is shining in on Doctor Strange, which in the movie, he gets the eye of Agamotto, which is the name for his amulet that he wears around his neck. And that is the time gem. He uses that in order to reverse time, and fast forward time, freeze time, things like that. So Thanos needs that one as well. And then what's left is the reality gem and the soul gem. We still don't know where the soul gem is going to be. I've been hearing things that maybe it'll turn up in Black Panther. Some people think somehow it's going to turn up in Thor Ragnarok. I'm not quite sure what you think. Leave me a comment. Where do you think it might turn up? I'm still leaning towards Black Panther, but I'm not sure if they want to introduce a gem this early on in the Black Panther franchise. We don't know much about the reality gem, what it does uh, for people who only watch the movies. I'll say that at least. You know, how hard is it going to be for Thanos to get it from the Collector? Is Gamora going to beat him there? Or is Gamora going to get there and wonder, is it gone yet? You know, like, how is that going to play a part in the movie? The poster is beautifully designed. There's so much detail. Like, there can be several, several videos with this poster along just breaking down each individual thing. So if you like this video, please give me a like rating down below. And leave me a comment. Let me know how you think Thanos is going to get that mind gem from Vision. Please hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like these. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.